Welcome back to Money on the Side. My name is Ben and I am back with another income report video. I thought I would get this video out to you as soon as possible as I know I left you waiting quite a while for the May income report video. I know you probably don't want to keep seeing my income report videos, but now that this video is out of the way, I can get back to creating tutorials and more valuable content. Please let me know in the comments what areas you would like me to cover in my next videos. Feel free to list multiple topics. So let's jump into my earnings for the month of June. Again, I have barely done anything KDP related as I was still on a break, as I mentioned in the last video. That is probably why this is the worst month of the year so far in terms of royalties. However, June last year was also my worst performing month, closely followed by July. June obviously only has 30 days of earnings, so that does make it seem worse as well. You will see that I have the same number of books as in the last video, so these royalties are from past time and effort. I really need to publish some books soon to get some practice for Q4. Earning a consistent amount over the last three to four months has been great, but I'm not going to coast off that forever. I want to release more books that will add to future passive earnings. I want my base level of royalties to keep rising every year. Although this is my worst month of the year, I've managed to increase my royalties by 50.5% compared to June 2021. My top 10 best-selling books contributed to 51% of my total royalties. My hardcover earnings were $291, which is 9.2% of my total. My target for July is going to be anything above $3,400. And the reason for that is I plan to up my social media game. So it will be interesting to see if that has any impact on my royalties. Okay, let's go over to my breakdown. My subscriptions haven't really changed much except for a slight decrease in Amazon ad spend, which was $811. My ACOS was pretty terrible at 31% but that is due to me neglecting them. I have spent time over the past few days optimizing my ads and getting rid of the money draining keywords. So I hope to see an improvement with my ACOS for July. Okay, if I take away my expenses from my royalties, I am left with $2,283 or £1,893 for my British citizens. As I mentioned in the last income report video, I can't really complain about these earnings. Although this is my lowest month of the year, I'm lucky to receive anything for the amount of effort I put in. That is all for today's video. Thank you for watching and please like, subscribe, and I would really appreciate your ideas on future videos so that I can bring you some value. Have a great week. Take care.